A Caledonia family is reliving a frantic trip they took to the hospital one year ago this week. They were headed to Holland Hospital as mom was about to give birth to their second child, but they wouldn't make it in time. Now, as they celebrate their son's first birthday, they're hearing from a familiar voice, the dispatcher who coached dad over the phone as he delivered his son. New at 7, Justin Kolar had a chance to catch up with the family today. Good evening, Marley. The Skydamas were bound and determined that they were not going to become the family that gives birth on the side of the road. But on May 15th of 2018, that's exactly what happened. The whole time I was thinking, like, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. Paul Skydama has two children. He never thought he'd have to deliver one of them. Kristen woke me up at about 6 o'clock and said, I don't think you should go to work today. I said, all right. She said, I'm going to get in the shower. She got in the shower. I went to check on her a little bit and she said, I think I should probably be timing these contractions. He quickly woke up his daughter. While I was getting her ready, Kristen yelled upstairs and said, we got to go. So off they went, frantically leaving their Caledonia home. I didn't have a shirt on, like threw on clothes as fast as I could. We threw the kids in the car and hit the road. Um, I mean, going 90 miles an hour down the highway, trying not to be too crazy. But that's exactly when things got even crazier. We got off the highway and Kristen said, pull over, pull over right now. Skydama instinctively called 911, barely having time to help his wife on the other side of the car. When? The woman who answered Skydama's frantic 911 call? Mary Allman. I mean, it was, it was good to have someone, you know, to kind of walk me through. I, you know, I'd witnessed one birth before, but, you know, certainly in not these circumstances. Her calming voice now heard full circle, helping this growing family through what can be one of life's most stressful situations. I kind of always just had in the back of my mind, you know, that it would be cool at, you know, one year old to go and actually meet. Meet her. Now the Ottawa County Dispatch Authority awards its dispatchers who assist callers giving birth over the phone with little stork pins. And believe it or not, Mary did not qualify for that award because baby Joey was well on his way out as she answered the call. In the newsroom, Justin Kolar, 24 Hour News 8.